Hi, it's Pat again. Autrish. <laughs> I'm in the middle of harvesting my um my compost. My dirt. Um I do my own um how did I forget the darn name? I do not know. My compost. And I let the red wigglers do the work for me. I'm in the process of doing all of this right here. If you can see it. Like I said, I have to do something different. That's the compost. That's my compost. Look all nice and dark and rich. Look all nice and dark and rich. I'm trying to show you. You see that? And I'm waiting for my uh, worms to go to the bottom. And once they go to the bottom, I cut um I cut um start harvesting the dirt off them. And I have this little black bowl because someone I'm not going to say their name, but someone wants some worms from me. And I have a whole lot. I have to have about three, over 3,000 worms by now. So as I'm harvesting, I'm going to put some worms in here so she can have it for her compost. So, but you just let the, give them time, put it in some light. And the worms go to the bottom of the pile. I got five piles here. I have five piles here. And I'm just pretty much waiting for the worms to go into the um, bottom of the soil. But they made me some nice compost. And you know when it's ready because it look rich, dark. And you won't recognize none of the food that's been put in here. And I juice a lot. So they get a lot, my juice, my veggies, my apples, you know, and stuff like that. And I put in here. And as you can see, it's nice. You can squeeze it. And it'd be one little ball. And it still falls apart. It's still wet. But it would dry out some but i'm going to try to oh, excuse me harvest some of my compost so because i need some more for my plants so that's why i'm doing this right now and i'm just waiting for all of my worms to go to the bottom of the pile so i can start taking off and i will put them in put it in a bucket over here I will put the compost in the bucket over here and the rest of the worms I will put back in the thing so they can start all over and make me some more compost and I just pick it like this if there's no worms in it you just scrape the top of it I have to position the camera so you can see but you scrape the top of it and you just put it in a pile below but let me see how I fix the camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing um Right there will be the ideal spot. Right here will be the ideal spot for you to see. But I just scrape I just scrape it off like this and make sure no worms is in it. And if I see worms, I just go to another pile and scrape until I get what I need. Because the more I scrape off the top, the more they're going to go to the bottom. 
they're just going to go to the bottom. So I just scrape. If I don't see anything, I go and I take the compost out. And the beauty part about it, I get what I need and I don't have to go to the store. How sweet is that? I don't have to go to the store. I don't have to go to the store at all and buy compost because I do my own. And if you have any questions about how I do it, what I do it in, and stuff like that, feel free to put something below and I will answer you as quick as I can. And sometimes you get some worms in here. I try not to get none, but sometimes you get the little babies and um, I try not to get the babies and you just pick until you don't get no worms and all what I pick I just throw in the basket below. And I just, you know, clean up the size and go through each pile until I have what I need. And it's pretty awesome. I don't mind. It's relaxing to me. I don't mind doing it. And they do such a good job of doing my um, compost. It's really awesome. I got worms all through here. It's so funny. And you just I just go from stack to stack until I get to the bottom. Because the more you dig in it, they're going to go further and burr down to the bottom. And if you leave a light on, they go to the bottom. Because they don't like the light. And, um, oops, here go a corn and a cob. It's a cob. They love the corn. They cling to this corn like nobody's business, but... That's all that's left in my compost. And I just give them a few minutes to go to the bottom. And once I get all the compost sorted out and the worms separated from them, I shift it. But, you know, I let it dry out a little more and then I shift it to make sure there's no um, food particles or anything but I usually don't do this until I can't recognize none of the food and long as I don't recognize no food that's when I do the compost and I'm just harvesting what I need right now and I'm going to take the worms and put and put in the um thing for the young lady that wants some worms she asked me for some worms so i'm going to give her some worms because they just keep rep reproducing and i made my own worm farm too you know have to save money I can't go out and buy a worm house, but I made my own and they did pretty good. Okay, I'm going to let them go back down into that pile. I can't get no more off of there. I 
can't get them off this pile either. I'm gonna have to let them go down and burrow down. Let's see what I can get from here. But yeah, that's all I do. I just put them in piles and take what I can and harvest. And usually I get like a whole like five pound bag because I have one, two, three, I have four containers of compost that I feed from. So I got four that I can rotate. I get like almost about a five pound bag on a good day. Yep. Now I'm in need of some more. And this one was ready. So I'm doing this one. Oh, there go another corn. They love that corn. I have to find another way to shift them out of out of here. So I don't have to do this. I think I'm gonna try to mongray. They mongray from one side to another side. I'm gonna try that one. And a new worm house that I've made for the worms. That's the method I'm going to use so I don't have to go through this. That's the method I'm going to use. I'm going to give her these worms right here. They got some dirt and something in there to eat. So, she, you see, I'm, I'm putting the worms. I don't know if you see it, but I'm doing it like that. You see? I'm doing it like that so she can see them. There you go. I'm going to just put the worms in there. Because I have so many of them. I won't miss them. And um. Oh that's a big one. I'll put her some in there. And let her. Have. They say keep a little bit of compost. On them. When you do this. Ugh, they running from me. They running from me. Okay, we're going to put that one back there. We're going to turn up this one and see. Oh, see, you got some worms right there. I don't know, can you see it? But you got some worms right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take them out and put them in there. she wants some so we're going to take some out and put in there and we're going to lift up some of the other ones to see did they burn down I'm trying to get this big one right here see and I'm going to see They will bur burrow down in there, but I may have to let this dry out some. See, yeah. That's enough soil in there. I'm just gonna give her the worms now. I'm just gonna give her the worms.
And um, that's pretty much it. Oop, I got one hanging on to my glove. They like to cling to you. Don't ask me why, but they do. And I'm going to turn up this one and see what's underneath this one. Turn this over and see how many worms is underneath here. Ooh, I see plenty. Bigger one. And they're pretty good size. They're pretty good size. They're trying to get away, though. They're trying to get away. We're going to open this up and pull some of them out. That was a long one. You see? They look really healthy. They look really healthy. And I don't know how many I put in there, but she got a lot in there. And here go a bunch of them right here. There's a bunch of them right here. So she could, she got plenty to start her worm farm. She got plenty to start her worm farm. You see? And all that is going in her bowl. And there's plenty in there. And they will go burrow to the bottom. And everything is wet enough so they could travel. Which I'm going to deliver them personally so I know they'd be okay. I don't have to ship them nowhere. I'm going to deliver them personally. Because I know her. And that's it. I think she got enough worms in there. And that would be enough to start her I think she got enough right there that they're trying to go to the bottom trying to go to the bottom but Outside of that, that's it. And I'm just picking her out some worms right now and make my job easier to harvest my dirt on my compost and make it really easy but yeah I figure I had to do this so I might well share it with y'all guys I don't know a lot of people may not like worms but they do wonders for my compost and my plant seems to love them love the compost and I just mix it with some other, um, with some peat moss. And I give it to my plants. And I even get a tea from it too. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this back in the pile and let them finish working at. 
and let them finish working it. I'm sure she got enough in there now. She got some compost in there, but they say it leaves a little compost on them. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take all the compost off them. So they can have something to bear down into. And they, if they get hungry, they have something to eat. But I don't have to put no food or nothing in there. I don't have to put no food in there. And I'm just going to let the rest of those bear down. And... Just gonna let this bear down and dry out a little more and they can go on to the bottom and do what they do and I'm when I think they go down to the bottom some more I could harvest a little bit more of the compost from around the worms I just have to wait until they go down some more. And I just take what I want. Got a lot of little babies in here. I just put them back on top and they bear back down. Got a lot of little babies that sometimes they can't find their way down. So I go around the size and stuff like that. And like I said, you may get a little bit of them in your compost. But remember, I, I have to shift this too. And that's to get the little pieces of leaves or something like that if I don't want it in my compost to make it a little more finer. And um, I can show you. I think I have a, some dirt. I could show you what my compost look like once I shift it. It looks like it came clean from the store. You would think it came from the store and I love the way it smells. It smells so earthy. It don't stink or anything like that. You can't smell no food. All you smell is like the earth. And that's the way I like it. And you may see a little of the eggshells in it. And stuff like that. But outside of that, that's it. But I do my own compost so I don't have to buy it. It helps me save money. And anything that helps me save money to where I don't have to spend, it's a good thing for me. Now, I don't know about you, but it's a good thing for me. This pile is almost gone. Yeah, like I said, it was a little wetter than I would want it to be. But when I separate the worms from the compost, I just let it dry out a little bit. And then I fix up the other bin and I put the rest of the worms in there and they can start all over for me. And I put them right back to work. But this is all you do. It's really not that hard or complicated. And I just went and bought this pan from the dollar store. You know, any pan that you could bake in that you could, you know, you could use for the compost to do the separation. I went to the dollar store. I got it. And that was it. that was pretty much it and like I said you may get a worm or two and and you know in your stuff but 
if you see them if I see them I pick them out but sometimes they the babies get past you but I have some in my plant they they go all through my garden and I think that's why my garden doing so well too because sometimes when I harvest my compost I may get a worm or two or some eggs that's in the compost and when I plant my plants in the garden they end up in my garden which is okay by me I did one of the other methods too with my garden to where I got a bucket in the middle of the compost that the um that you know some people put in their big gardens I made a little one for my little garden and um, I can show you that if you want to see it but I just did it on a smaller scale because you know my space is limited so I just did mine on a smaller scale and it works out perfectly and my garden seemed to like it my peppers is loving it because they growing like crazy so yeah I'm gonna let them pile down into this one but yeah so she got a nice and see they burned all down through there they burned down all through there and I'm just gonna rub some compost because I don't want to give her a whole lot I just want to give her enough to cover the worms put that worm back in there but they all burrow down to the bottom they're all the way to the bottom see they all through the bottom uh oh I'm making a mess we don't want to make a mess but if you can see them I have to see you can see them you see them they all bearing down to the bottom but yeah so she got some worms right there a lot of them is babies but they they be all right they do the job because I have a lot of babies going on it's a lot of babies so but yeah I make my own compost so I can have for my plants And I'm just in the middle of harvesting them. Harvest my compost. And separating my worms from the compost. And it's really, you know, some people find it tedious trying to pick the compost from around the worms. But if you just do them in piles, the worms will go to the bottom. And I just make so many piles so I could go to each pile and get what I want. I just go to the piles to get what I want. And when I get back to the worms, I... Just throw them back. But the next time I'm going to try to use the migration. I'm going to try that and see how it works. I heard you put a banana in there. And they go to one side, so I'm going to try that the next time. And then I don't have to do what I'm doing right now. 
but I'm going to try that and see what happened. But it smells really, it just smells really earthy like. It smells really earthy. Okay, I'm going to have to let this sit for a minute and do some other stuff for the garden and let the worms settle down because I'm like to all the worms now. They have to go and burrow down so I can get the rest of the compost. I got a lot of compost already. I know it's hard for me to stop once I start. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but once I start, it's like I can't stop. It's like I can't stop. But I'm going to let them whatever. And while they doing that, I'm going to I'm going to get the thing ready, the, um, the basket ready, because I have to put the stuff in the basket. If you want, I can show you that too, how to set up the basket. It's just three parts of everything, but I can show you how to do that too. Let that settled. Let that settle. And this is what I made for my worm compost. That's the bottom for the drainage. I put this here. And I got another one that sits in here. But I have to put the paper and stuff. I'm sorry, I had to get the stuff that I, I need. I had to get the stuff that I need. But, um, this is the bucket. This is my basket. And you just I, I have the shredded paper. You just want to put some shredded paper in there. Put some shredded paper in there. And you just put the shredded paper right in there. And I put the um Take some leaves and just cover them up and I'll let that go all through in there I don't want to make a mess on myself and that's it you know three parts of everything you need and when I do this, I don't put no food in it to the next day, just so they can get back settled. And that's all I do. And in so many months, I say by in a month's time, a month and a half, it'd be ready for me to get more compost. And I have three drawers of this. I just crumble them up right, just like that. Tear it up a little bit so it won't be in too much big pieces. And I just do it just like that. 
And that's how I make my own compost. And I put a, um if you when you first doing that when you first doing that um you want to put some so, some kind of soil or something in there or if you know me I have the compost dirt so they I always leave a little bit of that around them when I put them back in here and let them go and do it like that but you put the soil in here you could put um all your veggies all of your whatever I put very little centrist I put centrus, but it's like very little because they say they don't like it but I haven't had a problem with it but I don't put too much of the centrus in there and when I finish doing that these old peelings corn and a cob could go back in there and they could finish those up and when I finish getting what I want off the worms the worms could go back in there and I just do it like that when I finish getting all of the stuff off I just put them just like that and they will go back in there. I'm going to see how I finish this pile right quick so you can see. But this pile right here, I put this pile back in there and just sprinkle that around like that and let them go for what they know. And what I got off them, I just... you know throw back and keep the rest it's really easy to maintain it's really easy to maintain it it's really easy and you just gonna um put your little dirt in here you will put some more shredded paper some more shredded paper on them and then you water them going to put some shredded paper over the worms and you get a, a water bottle you get a water bottle and you just wet it wet it really good now because they need that water you wet it and then you just cover it up with a paper. I just take a sheet of paper like that and cover them. Put it, you know, they like the dark. And I just cover them. Just like that. I just cover them. Just like so. And eventually they eat all that paper up and that's it and like I said I do have another one that sits on top of this so the one that you cover is going to be your very top one your very top one will go on there and since I'm not done with this one, I'm going to take the paper back off. I just did it with the paper so you know and how I did it. And it looks something like that in the inside. But I still got some more worms to put in here. So I'm not going to whatever. But And that's all you pretty much do when you compost thing. And hers is in here. All her worms is going to be in here all her worms is right there all of her worms is hiding at the bottom of the compost and I'm not going to cover it right now because the compost is like a little wet which is good because it needs to be wet but I want to put more holes in here 
it got one little hole but I want to give it some more more air I want to give it more air than just that one little hole so I'm not going to cover it right now I'm going to leave it a little crack so they could get plenty of air in there or better yet just take the top off so I know and they could bear the light going to make them bear down to the bottom anyway and I had no problem with worms trying to get out I had no problem with nothing of that sort and this is the other one This is another one that sits down in the one that I had up here before. This is a different one. And look, I got worms all over here. She could have some of these too. They all through. They all through here. I have to make sure I don't drop none on me. But eventually they eat all through this paper they eat through the paper and this one almost ready too yep this one's almost ready too this one's almost ready too and I just fed this one not too long ago and I'm just putting her some worms in there the ones that's hiding I mean coming straight up to the top since they on the top they might as well go to join some of the other ones and these is almost like adult worms it's like adult worms. I'm trying to find a whole lot. I was trying to find where they hiding at. Cause sometimes you can find a whole heap of them. Just up to no doing they job. But, yep, I have plenty to give her. I got plenty. I have plenty. And they is really active because they sure are moving. They are moving. They trying to get away. They are moving. But yeah, you see how they eat up the paper? This was a whole sheet of newspaper, but they eat it up. So, but yeah, that's the compost. And this one sits on top of, this one sits on top of this one. So I got like a stack system going on and this will sit inside of here like like so and they come up to the top and go back to the bottom and my bottom be ready for me to do whatever I need to do for the compost and they got a lot of dirt underneath here they got a lot of dirt underneath there You see, there's a lot of dirt underneath there. And I can knock it away. And there's worms in there. There's worms all through that dirt underneath there. It was worms. But yeah, I just used use the stacking method and 
it's pretty cool and just put a bowl or something underneath it that's what I do I just put a bowl underneath it of the main one this one could go back over here I just wanted to show y'all that one but you see I got all that dirt from the bottom of that one and I just spread it around and I put more paper on top of them because I never leave them out to reveal anything I just put more paper on top of them so they can have something to bear under until I'm finished doing the compost but I'm going to finish harvesting this and I thought I would share that with you since I was doing it and give her her worms and that's pretty much it but if you want to know anything else about the compost and how I do it and my system I can show you that just leave me a comment below and I will get back to you and answer any questions that you may have about the compost but I do make my own so I don't have to go to the store and buy it and it helps me out a whole lot and I just mix it with a little peat moss for drainage and when you first if you're making your worm compost from the beginning peace moss is the best to start it with and um the paper three parts of everything the paper the leaves if you don't have leaves you can use cardboard i use cardboard in the place of the leaves when i don't have no leaves and um that's it then you just put your greens in there which is your veggies and all of that stuff um I juice a lot so I put the pulp from the juice from everything that I juice and that's what sustain my worm beds and that's all I do and as you can see it gives me nice rich black soil compost and the worm seems to like it they thrive and I just made a bigger one because it was so many worms, I figured they need their space. But I know by me making a bigger one, it's just going to make more worms. But that's all right, too. When I get my bigger yard in my backyard, I have all my worms and my compost working for me. So that's okay. They can make all the babies they want. But I guess that would be it for now. And I will get talk back with y'all guys later. And anything else I want to share I'll be back at another time to share it and if you like the video don't forget to give me um, a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and any questions just drop them below and thank you again for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you was able to use something from the video that you know that I was doing with the compost this idea it keeps you from have to buy one and my space is really small I was able to make my own compost in my small space and it works perfectly for me so hopefully you could use something or get an idea for something that you saw I did and you come up with something a little better or whatever but meanwhile I see you later have a nice day and I'll be talking to y'all guys and I'll be back later have a blessed day